Lotus Day by Susan Cooper. So the shortest day came, and the year died. And everywhere down the centuries of the snow white world came people singing, dancing to drive the dark away. They lighted candles in the winter trees. They hung their homes with evergreen. They burned beseeching fires all night long to keep the year alive. And when the New Year's sunshine blazed awake, they shouted, reveling. Through all the frosty ages, you can hear them echoing behind us. Listen. All the long echoes sing the same delight. This is the shortest day, as promise wakens in the sleeping land. They carol, feast, give thanks, and dearly love their friends, and hope for peace. And so do we, here, now, this year and every year. Welcome, Yule. From the very beginning, our lives have been cyclical. All the solstices, the sun reaches its highest or lowest point in our sky, giving us the longest or shortest day of the year. At the equinoxes, day and night are almost equal. Spring equinox, summer solstice, autumn equinox, winter solstice round and round they go. The rebirth rituals have become traditions that we still celebrate, whether or not we remember where they came from. Some of them are so old that only their monuments remain. On the morning of the winter solstice at the Great Earthwork Newgrange in County Meath, Ireland, the day's first beam of sunlight shines through a passage that Neolithic people built there 5,000 years ago to catch it. And for 17 minutes, a dark room deep within is filled with the sunshine of the shortest day. It's a universal impulse, the celebration of the light as a symbol of continuous life. The Yule and the evergreens of my poem come from Northern Europe, but the candles in those Christmas trees belong to the same family as the menorah candles of Hanukkah or the oil lamps of Diwali. Christianity and many other faiths say, share their intention. They are the lights of hope, reaching for the triumph of good over evil. The Longest Night by Marion Dane Bauer. The snow lies deep, the night is long and long, the stars are ice. The moon is frost, 
and all the world is still. Bears sleep as do the velvet mice. A moon shadow lies by every tree, thin as a hungry wolf. Sha'a -a, whines the wind, the bitter wind, cold and dark now rule. Gone, calls the crow, the night dark crow. So long the sun's been gone. I saw it sink, I saw it sneak, I saw it creep behind a cloud and go to sleep. But I'm the one. I know how to bring back the sun. I'll fly with my strong wings to reach the clouds. I'll poke with my sharp beak and wake the sun. Not you, sighs the wind. Not you. Gone, cries the moose, the mighty moose. I know the sun is gone. I saw it slip, I saw it slide. I saw it plunge from the bowl of the sky and disappear behind a hill. But I'm the one. I know how to bring back the sun. I have legs long enough to reach that hill, to climb that hill. I have antlers strong enough to scoop up the sun and bring it home. Not you, sighs the wind. Not you. Gone, barks the fox, the clever fox. The sun is too long gone. Someone must search, someone must seek. Someone must find the hole the sun crawled into. I'm the one. I know how to bring back the sun. I have a nose keen enough to sniff out the sun's hiding place. Paws quick enough to dig it up. Teeth sharp enough to grab the sun and toss it back into the sky. Not you, sighs the wind. Not you. Sha she, sha she. The night is long and long, says a chickadee. The sun is gone and gone. If not crow or moose or fox, then who? Who can bring back the sun? You, says the wind. Only you. Me, cries the chickadee. Her, cry the crow and moose and fox. Sha shoo, answers the wind. Chickadee hears, only you. The little bird knows she can't fly all the way to the sun. Her beak isn't strong enough to poke it awake. She can't climb or scoop. She can't sniff or dig or toss the sun into the sky. So she does instead what chickadees do best. She sings a song. Dee dee dee, she sings. And dee and dee and dee, she sings. And dee and dee again. What kind of noise is that, cries Crow. Just D and D and D. The sun won't listen to such nonsense, bellows Moose. What can it possibly mean, barks Fox. Just D, says the chickadee. Only that. D, D, D. Sha, she, says the wind. A star melts away, then another. The frosty moon pauses, snagged in the branches of a tree. The world holds its breath, waiting. Dee, 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 says the chickadee. And again, dee, dee. Slowly, the sun opens his eyes. He stretches. He tilts his head, listening. Who sings in the cold and the dark, he asks. Indeed, whispers the wind. Shashi, shashu. Dee dee dee, says the chickadee, and the sun smiles. Fingers of light peel back the blanket of darkness. Fingers of light grasp the edge of the world. And slowly, slowly, the sun lifts himself into the sky.
Thank you, sun, sings the chickadee. Thank you, sun, echoes the world. And with the song of one small bird and the sun's answering smile, the journey towards spring began. you're doing it you can put some fruit and nuts and popcorn in it so I'm going to put some cranberries in it um, you can put apple slices and various things and tuck them in the wreath sunflower that you can sprinkle in and put on the wreath. And I would press it down so it'll stay. And then I'm going to finish covering this whole wreath and I'm going to use twine to hang it from a tree. Uh -huh. 